you consult the Volvo? And were your questions answered? Some questions were answered. Others, I must answer myself. Do you think there's a place for Billy in our settlement? He expressed a desire to live and work with us. Will he not be Jarl of this Shire before the day's end? That remains to be seen. Some are more eager to see Trickvi in the high seat. Eivor, Trickvi has no intention to lead. He feels duty-bound to follow his master into death. Absolutely not. My father would never allow such foolishness. How else can I honor my Jarl? Old as I am, this is no country for me. The future is yours, Vili. The flames of this pyre will burn for my father. You must live. I forbid you to follow him into death. I will not let you sacrifice yourself. Do you forbid me as a friend, Vili? Or as our new Jarl? As a man who would see you come to your senses. Billy, trick me. Each man wears one of Hemingas boots, with both men unwilling to seize the other. Does the world need such useless, dithering men? Why not stake a claim yourself? Take this shire of your own. It is not my place. Your place is anywhere you lay your head, any hill you summit, any silver you take for your own. Do not limit yourself to niceties. It's Nottinghamshire deserves a leader to admire. A man the people can trust. Most love Billy, and he loves them. But he lacks the will to be leader. He could learn, but does he wish to? And Trickvi, sturdy and wise and loyal to the legacy Hemminger Jarl left behind. Almost to a fault. But he is old, and his thrill for living has fled him. Hardly inspiring. You cannot! I will not allow it! I am not asking for your permission. Only your forgiveness. Gods, Eivor, put a stop to this fool's death wish. This is no small decision, Trukvi. And not without great cost. The Shire will be diminished without you. But I... I have nobody left. My life's purpose lies dead upon that pyre. That is not so. When people look to my father for guidance, who did they see him turn to for counsel? Heminger Jarl was my rock. Yes, I gave him counsel, but he made the hard choices. If Heminger were here, would he not urge you to wield this wisdom for the betterment of all? Was your vow to serve Heming Ayal unto death, or to serve his legacy in life? I will stay. You have wisdom, Eivor. More than I could have guessed. Eivor! Mm -hmm. Suniva. Picts were spotted moments ago, lurking in the thicket. Ville gave chase. Ah, oh, stick. He should have roused me first. Show me where I went. Let us wake the others. The dark is lousing with pigs. I can take them on myself. Tell me where. They're not far. I'll show you. His rage has consumed him, Eivor. All this anger, this sadness, it has truly taken form. Our stick was never one to temper his emotions. This was bound to happen. I should have been more vigilant. Do not blame yourself, Drenkber. He always had me to watch his back. As children, and again now. If this rampage is what he needs to rid himself of the sick that binds him, I will at least make sure he does not hurt himself. 
<laughs> Thank Odin he has the mighty wolf kissed as his shadow. There are things we do for family, Suniva. No questions asked. For you, I would have done the same. For any of the Raven clan. We know, Drengur. That is why we are sworn to you. Here, Eivor. This was where Ville saw the scout killed and then charged after the enemy ahead. I will head back to Hemthorpe and make sure our ravens stand vigilant. Return to us safely, Drengur. They will attack on sight here. Just like when we were children getting into trouble and getting away. Save your honey words for when we get out of here alive, our stick. I saw it's Thunderhammer. That quickened the blood. Wild and reckless, like our first battles together. Remember the island north of Stavenga? I do. Kjertve the Cruel trained his berserkers there. Great lumbering fools, foaming at the mouth. We taunted them from the treetops. 
And the drunk one, remember? Naked as the morning. Froze his cock off trying to find us. Then fell to humping a snowdrift. <laughs> <laughs> Were you glad to hear from me? I did wonder what trouble you'd been up to. But I smiled at hearing your name. And I wondered if you had taken after your father. If you were now leading your clan. Well, you have your answer. I'd sooner take after a troll and... ...leave this clan in your hands. That I will not do. When my father was named Jarl, he had no one to help him, and still he triumphed. But I am not my father. I... I simply want to roam. Do you think Slipnir would be content bound to a stable? No matter how glorious it may be. Hey! What is that for? You have friends, Vili. And what about Trukvi? And me? And your clan? Of course. I know that. You can't roam forever. Keep that in mind. You are surrounded by those who love you. And that will not change. Unless you push it all away. You... You speak a truth, I understand. Troll-faced stick. <laughs> a chicken draugr! Is such a thing possible? For that does not seem possible. Voda, too. A warder infused with fire. I do not lie. <laughs> Your father's death aside, Vili. This has been... good. Fun. Do you ever wonder what might have happened if we had not been separated by the North Sea so early in our lives? What adventures we would have had. The raids, the battles, the glory. I even think about what we might have been to each other. No, I never dwell on our past that way. I find it slows me down to crawl, and I'm not made for crawling. I think I'll turn in. Long day ahead. going uh, with so much on my mind I haven't slept a wink the funeral the fanes I should get back I understand I'll see you there
Danes, so many Norse. This will be the send off Hemminger deserves. All the funeral preparations are in order. Tell me, what funeral gift did you manage to offer your y'all? Some Voda survived the fire. It will keep Hemminger warm in Odin's hall. If he's not careful, that Voda will burn all of Valhalla down. All the funeral preparations are in order. Be patient, Hemminger y'all. We're about to send you on your final journey. Eivor. My father sets forth on his final voyage. May the winds favor him. The nobles have offered up their funeral gifts. All but you. Present what you have, and the celebration may begin. I have it here. Shield bearing the rune of Gungnir, exalted spear of Odin. May it guide this great man's aim. Eternal be your war strength, Heminger. Drenched in battle dew, may you fight until the Sky Wolf swallows the sun. Stand at my side. Speak from your heart, Eminger son. Today we mourn the passing of Heminger Jarl of Nottinghamshire. My father. Our father. He was a towering force. A strength to fear and admire. Now gone. Yet together we are the example of his greatness. I see him in each of you. His love for battle, but also peace. For wisdom, sorrow, and joy. His generosity, his spirit. In you I see his life and his love of drink. Gods, did he love drink? <laughs> we are these things because he was these things. Father, we shall be to our children what you were to us. And when they are ready, we will meet you again. Give him a fine farewell. Sunila, ride to Hemthorpe and prepare the longhouse for the old thing. The next Jarl will soon take his seat.
Have they given their Jarl a fine farewell? They have. None drank so well and so deeply as Clan Hemingerson. The declaration of succession must happen soon, before we are too drunk and exhausted to remember our names. I agree. Call on those who must attend. The all thing will begin shortly. Eivor! You look... uneasy. Burdened by grief. Drowning in need. And paralyzed by a sword. I stand between that man and Hjaldu. You stand side by side, Willy. And one of you must step forward. My father placed us side by side, because he trusted your vision. So what do you see? Drunk as you are, I see before me a man full of passion, vigor, and a love for his people. I see a Jarl. Your burden will get easier to bear. Take your father's seat and make it your own. I will. Good. Now let them know, our stick. People of Hemthorpe, of Ulkethorpe, of Snottingham, the day I pledge myself as my father was, I shall be your Jarl. Heminger was a hero, not for who he was, but for the people he led. With Trigvi by my side, with all of you, we will have glory. You have already learned that people prefer shorter speeches to long ones. <laughs> it will take time to wear that title with comfort. My father never swore a formal oath with your clan. There is no need, for you are family. Let it be known the Hemingers and Clan Raven are true sworn friends from this day forward. Accept. Aye. Well. Be fair, be just, and call upon us often. Our stick. I'm sure I will. Bring fair tidings, Renry. Hemingway Jarl in Snottinghamshire has passed, but his clan remains allied to us. Sad news, but you made the best of it. I saw my old friend Vili on my visit. He is their Jarl now, and he has pledged to aid us in times of need.
want to see the Alliance map. What can you tell me of Vinland? Is it a real place or merely a rumor? Rumor or not, I found someone willing to sail you there. She claims to have seen it once before. If she is willing to risk her life beside me and make the long journey, I will take her at her word. Nessa is her name. Meet her at the docks when you are ready to leave. I will go now. ...and end the life of Gorham Kjotvison, where the Valkyries cannot find him. It is a long voyage, Eivor. Be careful. Eivor! Evil. Petra, you have a look that could quiet the thunder. Is something wrong? No, no, everything's fine. Although I'm... Well, it's not easy. Go ahead. I'm listening. Well, I really enjoyed the time we've spent together, Evil. More than enjoyed. What I'm trying to say here is that I... I like you, Evil. And I'd like to go further with you. I thought we might, you know, be together. I feel the same way, Petra. Gods. I was worried you would never feel the same. I mean, you're always away living adventures and... But I always return home. What are you waiting for? Kiss me. over here. Oh, look at you, Tui. Dandy! Eivor, strength. You and Petra chasing a white elf in the woods high as wispy clouds, my god! I could barely breathe for laughing. Impressive. Never seen anything like it. Something new for you. I must take my leave. So long. Happy hunting. If you would have me, a all father, grant my time will soon come. Good day to you, stranger. Nessa, is it? I'm Eivor. Randvi said you would be my guide. That is right. Passage to across the seas to St. Brenton's land, is that right? Randvi called it Vinland. One and the same. It is a three-week trip by longship, arduous, 
Dull. Possibly fatal. Should we survive, you will be compensated. Eivor, before you go, you must be dressed as a thrall when you arrive. To be seen as you are would raise suspicions. Gorm runs this new camp, and it is a good bet all but a few will be loyal to him. Good thinking. Only taking care of our prize Drenger. First things first, Eivor. My ship, my rules. Second, you follow the rules. Third, if you listen to my rules, you live. Understood. Good. Let me know when you're ready and we'll get going. I will leave my gear behind and dress the part. To Vinland we go. Hop in! We'll leave now. <laughs> 